Oklahoma parent sues after her daughter is allegedly severely beaten by transgender student in bathroom. Let's dive into the details, shall we? An Oklahoma resident and mother is suing her local school district after her 15-year-old daughter was allegedly severely beaten by a 17-year-old transgender student in the girl's bathroom. The attack, according to the lawsuit filed May 25th, occurred at Edmond Memorial High School on October 26, 2022. The parent is seeking $75,000 in damages for severe physical and mental injuries, severe physical and mental pain and suffering, and severe emotional distress that she claims her child suffered at school. Yeah, it makes sense. That's crazy. The lawsuit also alleges that the transgender student had made previous threats of violence against the victim at school and was searched for weapons by police after his threats against the victim were reported by another student. Wow, and they just didn't even, like, make sure they didn't get together or anything? Like, interact? I mean, how can you? It's in the bathroom, right? Included in the lawsuit is a direct reference to a law Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt signed on May 25th that requires students at Oklahoma public schools use restrooms that match the sex listed on their birth certificates. According to the report filed after the alleged assault and obtained by Fox News Digital, the transgender student listed as student A entered the restroom and spoke to a female student. Soon after, the two started arguing with each other, a fight broke out. The student victim, labeled as V, on the redacted report, told police she was speaking with friends in the girl's bathroom when student A approached her with a question. After telling A she didn't want to speak with her and why A became angry and asked if she wanted to fight before hitting her in the face. The alleged assailant continued to hit, kick, and pull student V's hair. Wow. V told police the strength of A's punches left her unable to fight back. One friend reported they tried to help, but they were also struck in the face twice. A witness said they worried about their friend because the assailant was a man. Well, I mean, even if it wasn't. Wow, that's just crazy. All this stuff is just, the violence is crazy. Police observed one victim had injured injuries to her eye, face, and head with a possible concussion. Edmond Police School Superintendent Angela Grunwald spoke out publicly after the incident in a video posted to YouTube in December. You may ask yourself, how can that happen? Grunwald said. It's hard to explain, but if a parent comes in and enrolls their child as a certain gender, and when you look at the child by all social norms, they look and present themselves as that gender, it's not something that you would question, she added. I wonder if that's actually true, how, like, feminine this transgender person actually looks. Grunewald also addressed the confusion around the transgender student's birth certificate as the police originally found that there was no gender listed on the transgender student's birth certificate. How's that so I wonder? Also, in high school, birth certificates are not required to start school, so there was no birth certificate in the student's file at the time to verify one way or another, Grunewald said. A spokesperson for Edmond School District told Fox News Digital that it is the practice of the district not to comment on ongoing litigation. In May, Oklahoma agreed not to enforce a ban on sex reassignment surgeries and care for minors. Yeah, stuff's crazy. That I think the transgender bathroom thing's just going backwards because you have stuff like this. The superintendent was saying that this transgender person looked female and all that, but I, I question that. You know, they could be telling the truth, but I wonder. But, I mean, either way, this is kind of the stuff that happens. People fight in bathrooms. When I was in school, people would go, wanted to fight, they'd go into the bathroom, you know? So if they're sharing a bathroom and an argument breaks out and a guy's just beating women, it's just like, you know, a biological male who has all the advantages of a biological male these people are going to get really hurt. Um, yeah, and it's going right back the other direction. But uh, also, like, uh, this is being able to use the, uh, the girl's bathroom when you're a guy. That doesn't even mean you're trans. You could just pretend you're trans to go and be creepy. 
I think that happens way more than people like to admit. But, you know, that's just my opinion. What is your opinion of this story? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.